Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We're checking out Vending Machine Business Simulator today. No, I'm not kidding. Because I think both you and I need to answer a question. Why? We're not gonna look at the early assess roadmap. We're not gonna look at anything. It's straight to new game. Okay, so here we are in our office. No, wait. Workspace? No, wait. All of the above. Here's our waiting room slash conference table. You can tell by the phone. And miscellaneous drug paraphernalia. And that in the corner is our bed. And I really like the bare mattress. In fact, we've only got time for two things. One, the rise and grind lifestyle. And two, ooh, it looks like we have something we should talk about. And that's about our sponsor, Opera GX, which I'm excited to show you has tons of new updates. And I'm one of four creators chosen to give you an early look. Here's the old, and here uh, ah, is the new. Ooh, how illustrious. Wallpapers pop more, there's new icons on the sidebar, and in general, everything just looks a little more sleek. And I can't not talk about the GX mods, and I'm really excited to show you the new and improved Let's Game It Out mod. It's got all kinds of new stuff. A light mode wallpaper so you can flashbang yourself anytime. A custom splash screen for when you start the browser. Opera GX. Custom UI fonts, custom UI icons, and even a custom GX icon that you can see in your taskbar when you're using it. And of course, all the greats are still there. Like this when you open a new tab. Hey there, it's Josh. This when you type and this background music. And the settings are also easier to navigate. So now you can customize stuff even faster and better. Oh, and I can't forget to talk about my favorite feature, the GX corner, which like everything else is new and improved. All the stuff I love, but even better, including being able to see new game releases, stuff that's free, what's on sale, various game news, and so much more. And as always, Opera GX has a quick import tool. So no matter what browser you're coming from, you can easily import all your settings for an easy switch. Opera GX is also compatible with every Chrome extension. So if this sounds good to you, use my link in the description to check out Opera GX for yourself. And don't forget, November 20th, 2024 is when you can grab this new version for yourself for free. And thanks again to them for sponsoring. Okay, I think I've played enough of these games with the same setup. I know what to do. First step, logo design. Vending Co. Well, that name simply won't do. Instead, how about Tamper Evident? Yes, that's better. And now with that out of the way, it's on to jobs. Looks like we've got one job available. Grace, I'm so sorry. I need someone reliable for my vending machine to work properly. When you finish, a special reward awaits you. Oh my god, why are these objectives so aggressive looking? Ball up a fist and defend that vending machine. Grip that wrench and fix that vending machine. Double fist those waters and put them in the vending machine. All that for $29. Now to buy our case of water bottles, which we will buy one of. But more than that, we're obviously getting a lot of salt crackers, as well as original potato chips. Anyway, let's head on over to... Okay there, Hulk, let's relax a little. Hard to blame him, though. This door seems to follow its own rules. So be it. Here we are on the ground floor. Our box is magically already delivered. There's also a helpful sign, which I think is trying to tell me that we take these boxes, put them in a speeding car, and then drive to hell. Makes sense to me. I'm gonna assume that this illegally parked truck is mine, and I assume we just take our goods and put them in the truck bed. Or wait, is there a reason we can't just, like, take them and put them on the roof? Oh, yeah, of course. I'm the stupid one here. How dare I think our roof is a solid structure? Anyway, this should about do it. Okay, let's get driving and- Whoa, I'm not even driving yet. Where do you think you're going? Shocker. Absolute shocker. Who would have guessed that wouldn't have worked out? Let's actually just make it to the job site. Out of the way, vending machine freelancer coming through. And can't forget to drive through every red light on the way there before power sliding through all turns and eventually getting where we need to go. Move, move, move! You did this. <sighs> And me with all my wheels still spinning. Don't worry, for some reason we can stop them with our face. Okay, where was I? <laughs> Almost there, I can see it in the distance. Ah, here we are! Oh, whoops. Sorry, officer. Didn't see you there. And also, fine work doing your job. I get it. The idea of someone doing some mixed martial arts on a vending machine isn't enough for you to get out of the car. Well, so be it. I guess it's up to me now. Hey, you! Stop that right now! I don't know, maybe he'll just tire himself out. Except I don't have time for that. Time to slap. <laughs> yeah, let that be a lesson. Uh-oh, did you reach an invisible wall? And you know, just in this one frame, there's so many good things going on. For one, this cop car appears to have spinning rims. And second, this guy's run is the most, but mom, I don't want to go to school kind of run I could possibly imagine. Anyway, enough talk. Let's slap him. <laughs> hey, you come back. I'm not done with my 7 a.m. slaps. I wonder if I can slap this guy all the way back to my house. 
Oh, never mind. Looks like I killed him. And then he had to go back to his home planet. Well, whatever. Back to the vending machine part of the game. As you can see, we've already defended the machine. And now it's time to fill it and fix it. Should be easy enough. Wait a minute. What's this box down here? Is this just like extra supplies or something? What is this? Well, game, this doesn't help me at all. But I do know if I put this box down and then turn around, there's another box, which I can then put down again. And then there's another box, which I can pick up and then put down again. And then there's another box. Okay. That'll do do. Yes, that'll do nicely. All this from that one box in that vending machine. I did try to make this nice, by the way. I started stacking boxes all nice, trying to make some kind of actual structure, but eventually walls started falling down. So screw it. This is what we get. Anyway, whatever. Let's put some water in this thing. And one and two. Not sure why you would fill front to back, but here we are. And that's it. And now we just add this crap to the pile. Unfortunately, we can't add anything else to the vending machine. I guess we can only do that if we actually own it instead of doing work for somebody else. Oh, but we're not done yet. We still have to fix it, which all we have to do is click on this thing and then do a mini game that actually feels a lot more like a captcha than a mini game. Okay, and now we can close it up. You're welcome, Grace. This is your problem now. Actually, what am I saying? I at least have to try to crash into these boxes, right? Everyone brace for impact. Well, that was spectacular. I like how there's this woman in the background that's like, you know what? Maybe I won't go that direction. I really needed a vending machine bottled water, but oh well. Okay, time to head back to my house. Okay, here we are. Thank goodness this hot dog sandwich here to stop my car. I can only assume we already ran over the owner, and now this cart is just here and abandoned. Also, I just noticed something. Is it just me, or are we kind of tall? And honestly, with the Hulk-like strength we have when we open these doors, I'm starting to think we might just be Shrek. But whatever, help me, game. Find me another Joe, my god. I guess word gets around. I'm gonna go the vigilante route and only accept jobs where we defend vending machines. Time to get my brass knuckles on and show people what's up. I feel like this is gonna be a really easy time. For example, there he is now. Well, I know how to deal with this. And scene. Sir, are you okay? I guess I hit them so hard they atomized. Well, it happens. And that's pretty much how it goes. <laughs> we just obliterate these people with our truck and do that until our bloodlust is fulfilled and our wallets are full. <laughs> Say what you will, but this game is pretty fun to play like it's Crazy Taxi, except instead of picking people up, you're eliminating life. And sometimes if you're being sneaky, they won't even know you're there. See? And when I'm feeling like getting my hands dirty. Good thing the cops don't care. Oh, and when we're done liberating these things, I just leave them open. I'm like the Robin Hood of vending machines. And before you know it, we're level two. And that allows us to do something very exciting. Finally, we can have our own vending machine. Do I want to unlock this for $38? Wow, I didn't realize this was such an easy industry to get into. Okay, now I've purchased the land. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call this. Either way, I'm really excited about this spot. Clearly, with this completely closed down street at the end of a corner with barely anybody around, we're going to lock in all that vending machine traffic. Isn't that right, Neo? Yeah, I can tell you're excited to get a bottle of water. In heaven. Meanwhile, back at home. Whoa, watch it, buddy. You almost hurt my car. Our computer is going to help us do that thing we need to do. $959? I have to spend money to make money? Very upset about this. Well, there it is, just hanging out in my lobby. Surely I can't just pick this up, can I? Oh, and I can go through the door and everything. And unfortunately, I can't drop this on people. Goodness knows it's the first thing I tried. Anyway, thankfully, it's perfectly placed on my truck. Ah, oh, jeez. You know what? So be it. You want to be like that? I'm just going to push you all the way. And use it to get cars out of the way. And see right through them into the fifth dimension. And at long last, we put this thing down. Finally, the city has a beautiful vending machine by Tamper Evident. Oh, and good news. When we fill this thing up, it currently says zero dollars. But that's because we can set the price. One hundred dollars. The perfect bag of potato chips does exist. Now all we have to do is wait. Oh my god, here we go. Ma'am, are you here for the vending machine? Oh, it looks like we have something in common. We're here to take out the trash. Why does everybody want to use this trash can when that vending machine is right there? Okay, well, I've got a grand idea. I'm just gonna park my truck in front of this trash can. There, it's closed for business. Oh, well, there you go. This is really working as intended. How many people are going to get stuck here, do you think? Not nearly as many as I would have thought, but other weird things have happened. Like this police car pushed up against me, freewheeling. And also this other car trying to court the police car, not to mention all this that happened. And I don't quite know why. Maybe if I get off the police car, it'll... Oh, okay. Well, I'm sure that the police car is going to be totally fine with this. 
<laughs> it's perfect. Anyway, the good news is people do keep joining. It just takes them a while. And the biggest tragedy of all, nobody cares about my vending machine. Okay, I shouldn't say nobody. I think this car has fallen in love with it. But that doesn't mean they're buying my $100 potato chips. You know what I do know, though? There's more of these boxes here. Can I, like, put them underneath cars? Will this do anything? Oh, the game crashed. What a shocker. No problem, even though everyone was gone when I started. It didn't take long before a crowd formed again, as well as a crowd of a different kind. You way in the back, what was your logic? In fact, what is everybody trying to do right now? I can't believe it, but this is kind of working. They are making progress to get out of this situation. All right, well, that was fun. Let's see if we can actually get this thing to make money. And then let's change the price to two, 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 two. Yes, there we go. A very standard price. Oh my God, I think it's finally happening. He's gonna buy something. Oh my God, he bought two watches. Waters. If I'm feeling especially spicy, sometimes I'll watch for my car. And then when they go to use the vending machine, I'll just give them a little nudge while they're trying to use it. As you can see, they're unperturbed with their alien arms. And I can't really keep them because then they just return to their home planet anyway. I also tried to run them down while they're going to the vending machine. But once again, they don't really care. Nor do other people. This guy got his water and off he goes. In fact, nothing makes sense anymore. These two guys are getting stuff at the same time. Both invulnerable. Both in sense that I tried to run them down with my car. I also did notice something kind of great, which is when it's bedtime and you only have $12 to your name. When you go to sleep, it lets you know how you've been doing. And you may notice here that we had no income or outcome or bills or anything, which isn't actually true. If we head on over here to bills, it sure does look like we owe some stuff. I'm assuming we're not being auto charged for those because we don't have the cash. As we know, though, we actually do have some money. Easy, easy. Okay. Because if we swing by our vending machine... Oh, well, yeah. Why wouldn't it look like that? No, no, you stay in there. You hide from the bill collectors. We want them to think we have 1261. What the hell was that noise? Wait, why? How? Did they just run themselves over? Oh, do it again, game. It amuses us. Oh, hey, it's the same woman again. Excuse me. Was the same woman. Oh, don't mind me. Just throwing some trash away. I'm just gonna head home and... Oh, no. Guess my kids grow up without a father. The best part is you hear it from anywhere. You could just be wandering in the streets for no reason when all of a sudden... Oh, these bills do pile up, by the way. So the longer I can go without paying these, the better. But in order to do that, we gotta make sure that we can operate without actually making any money. Or we still need to make money. We just need to be careful about how we do it. For example, if we... Hey, where's my money? Hey, where is... <laughs> oh, the game crashed again. It's like that guy was the angel of death. Okay, where were we? I was heading over here and... Oh, it's just gone, huh? Gotta admit, didn't see that coming. At least I can take solace in my death mobile. Well, it looks like we're back to taking a couple of odd jobs since our thing vanished. With people still dying randomly in the background. Also, everybody here is crazy. This car is just tailing this car with such a vengeance. Okay, so we're gonna pick up a couple of jobs. And then we're gonna head out and try and do them as fast as we can. Should be easy enough to take care of all of these. You're fine. And then after making a little bit of cash, here's one thing we have to watch out for. Is even though now we have $92 from our jobs, going into the new day is when the bills take their cut. Which says to me that once we do these jobs, buddy, you don't even have to do that. It's already open. Oh well, whatever. Meat sir slaps a lot. That'll teach you. I did learn something kind of fun, which is that you can actually hide in the vending machine. And then once you hear the sultry slaps of vandalism, you can just pop out. Huzzah! Listen, this isn't even about the vending machine anymore. It's about sending a message. Welcome to your new home. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm here to refill the vending machine. If you could just let me fill this, that'd be really nice. Okay, thank you. Now you're with the vending machine forever. And once we've made enough random cash, we got to turn it into something so the bills can't get us. Obviously, we need to buy another vending machine. And beyond that, I'm just going to add a bunch of random crap to my cart. Just to make sure that once I buy all this stuff, I'm left with as little money as possible. Ah, yes. Here's all of our stuff. So beautifully laid out. And then we head back to the jobs, hit up Grace, deal with her stupid vending machine. All this while on foot, by the way. If I can ever help it, I'm not gonna let go of my auto-killing vehicle. And once we've done enough of these, it's time for us to add to the war chest downstairs. Don't forget, this is what it looked like. And after ordering all this crap, all $34,000 worth of stuff. Uh-oh. Well, this is certainly a change to the frame rate. Also, motion blur is permanently on. I can't turn this off. Either way, let's go check out our shipments. Oh, well, here we go. Is this what a bit Biblically accurate angel looks like. I don't think the game was counting on me getting so many vending machines at once. Or else it wouldn't be bouncing around fighting with its own inner demons. Oh, oh. Uh. Oh, okay. Things are getting a little bit more sane. Or whatever we want to call this. Well, good news. The frame rate's better. And the lighting flatter. 
and people's deaths still playing over the audio. And also, I can no longer make it out the front door. Actually, I can't seem to pick anything up either. Well, thank God there's an unstuck button. Ah, here we are outside. How are things looking in there? More or less contained. So I'm trying to clear things out of the way. Most of these things I can't pick up, but for some reason, some of them I can. So I just take a box, merge it with other boxes, and everything kind of starts to move a little bit. Okay, there we go. Finally cleared. <laughs> oh my God, why can't I get in? And why can't I pick any of this stuff up? And as you can see, the front door is as upset as we are. Well, this might be a little sudden, but I think this is where our journey ends. Can't walk in, can't pick anything up. No point in making money because I can't get to my computer. Restarting does nothing, and honestly, I think we've peaked anyway. Here, let me give you a dramatic interpretation of what I think the rest of the game would have been like. Wow, my heart's racing. So instead, I have a better idea. How about instead we just stand outside Deathmobile and enjoy the good times? And by that, I mean one, two, and oh, the triple kill. I want to thank Opera GX again for sponsoring this video. Linky in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. So I hope you had fun. I know I did. And I'll see you next time.